Folks, I'm Doug Johnson, Break of Dawn Fishing Buddies. I had Luke, one of my subscribers, wanted me to do a boat tour for him, so it's raining today, so it's a good day to do it. I'm gonna start uh, with the trailer. We've got a Tennessee trailer. It's a galvanized trailer because I sometimes go down red fishing in brackish water, and that brackish water will rust out them steel trailers. Um, now the boat, it's backwoods landing boat. It's a 17 foot, 56 inch wide boat. I just got this boat less than probably six months ago. Uh, got a big deck on the front, as you can see, and it's an open floor plan. I designed this boat, and they, of course, sent it off to. Arkansas, I think, is where these boats are built. And I got several places for pedestals in case I'm gonna take more than two people, you know. Got a live well here, but I'm using it, of course, for dry storage. Keep my life jacket and stuff in there. I've got Berkeley rod holders in the boat. Can't have too many rods, I don't think. Back the boat, that's where I've got my battery, and of course my gas, and five gallon bucket. You always have, need a trash can. Put all my trash in it. I always take the trash off the lake that you take on the lake, so. Back here at the back, I've got a 25 horse Mercury. It's a 2008 model, and folks knock on wood. I've never had a bit of problem out of it. Got a stainless steel prop. That's my HDS9 Lawrence transducer. We'll go up front. That's right there is my homemade camera mount. <laughs> I just use boat seat uh, poles and mount that thing on it. Up front, I've got a little hummingbird. Seven. 787 that's hooked into the transducer on the trolling motor gives me my front depth. Then, of course, my HDS9 Lorentz. Gives me my back depth, and plus it's got side imaging on it, which I tell you what, for the first year I had it probably, it was hard for me to figure it out. But I got with a buddy of mine on the lake that's got this new live scope stuff. And man, I sat out there next to him. And that side imaging, I learned how to read it next to him with that live scope pretty good. So it's helping me out. Um, now, when I get in shallow water, I don't think, I, I can't, still can't read the live, you know, the side imaging in shallow water to find fish. Uh, the best feature on the boat, I think, is the Minn Kota Taroba trolling motor. It's got spot lock on it, it's got navigate on it, and if y'all watched enough of my videos, y'all have seen this hanging around my neck. It is the controller for it. Now, it does have a foot control that I could put up front, but man, I got so used to using this thing. I mean, it's that function right there, the anchor function, man. Everybody needs that. Wind blowing, you just hit that, it'll keep you in the same spot. The other function I use mostly is that end button right there, it's navigate. So if you're going down the bank fishing and you can just point it at a tree or something and hit navigate, and that thing will take you right toward that tree. So I love that function. Like I said, that's probably the best feature on my boat, I think, is the trolling motor. Um, the boat itself is a Backwoods Landing boat. I got it from Backwoods Landing, I mean. Oh, Jeremy and them down there, they're good folks to work with. It's a well-built boat, but I got it from Backwoods Landing. So that's about it on my boat. Like I say, Luke, I hope you enjoyed it. I do have storage up front too, I forgot. 
Let me get up there and show you that. Well, I'd say I do have <clears throat> storage on the front up here. It holds a bunch of stuff. Folks, I ain't no fancy fisherman or nothing. I got me some ice, ice cream buckets that I'll put all my plastic in. And I'll label them like that's trailers and frogs right there. And I've got swim bait, paddle, paddle tail worms, flukes. All my worms in there. So, like I say, here's the, got like I say, plenty of room to walk around in it. Got a floor in this boat, aluminum floor, and the sides, as y'all can see. I like that part, feature of the boat too. To have to try to walk over them rails in the middle of a flat bottom, so. All right, Luke, that's the boat tour. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching my videos. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and maybe it'll quit raining enough for me to go fishing sometime to catch more fish to show y'all. Thanks for watching.